Hello. If you, uh, someone can comment, just make sure those are working. Sometimes I have trouble with them. Otherwise, I might need to restart. I forgot to restart my phone. Oh, there we are. Hey, Mike. Donnie Darko, what up, man? Hey, Joshua. Art, what's up, dude? Mason. Is that Derek? Hey, Derek. Hey, Mike. So it's been a little while since I've been on here, guys. How you been? Tiffany, Jozo, and Charlie, what up? Oh, we're all good, all right, just been real busy, man. Uh, got bullballers.com working now, we got that building, Should check that out sometime in a minute. As always, if you can like and share, I always appreciate it. Making some critter pipes and some mushroom pipes, and if I have time, something else. Uh, Alright, I want to test something here, guys. Hold on, let's see if we can do this. Didium lens. Now, uh, how's that? Is that not, a, did you guys see better? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna have to figure out some sort of lens in the future here to put over that. that cool and get a little bit more stuff prepped here gotta get my uh, octopus bodies prepped gather up a little bit of glass into a little ball, more like a jelly bean, and that's what I'm going to be adding for the body of the octopus to a pipe, and then I'll put the legs off of that. So we're just getting them ready here real quick, and we'll be ready to go later. If I do it later, we can get it done right now, right? I'm going to try to answer you guys' questions as I work here. I have a hard time with it. Um, 
I'm looking at something bright, then I try to read something on a screen. Um, sometimes it looks like I'm reading your stuff, and I'm just trying to read your name. <laughs> try to make that out. So uh, please don't take it personal if I don't answer your comments. Uh, I'm doing my best. Uh, I gotta focus on the glass first. So I should probably be able to get one, maybe two octopus out of this one. Octopi. Octopuses. Alright. So we got those. Those are just ready for later. They're just the rough shape of what I need. I'll just add them on. a little longer for these, hold on, she said. Oh, Gabe, I'm, uh, right now I'm getting ready to make a mushroom pipe. It's going to look like a mushroom and it's going to function like a pipe. It's going to color out real nice after it gets seasoned. I don't know what's playing on the music, guys. It's uh, uncopyrighted music at the moment. Um, that's all I can play in here. If I play anything I want to play, uh, I can shut down. Somebody was asking to school her on the music. Well, it's shitty music. Yeah. Hi, Mike. Just got to make sure this is straight here. Dooming myself from the get go. It's going to be a good size hand pipe. Probably be about, I don't know, they stand about four or five inches tall, those mushrooms. About four inches tall. I'm just having a little bit of trouble getting this exactly how I want it here to start off with, but really need to take the time doing this or I regret it later. Alright, then we're just gonna cut this off here. Art, if you're listening, I uh, think I got that custom figured out for you, dude. Yeah, I told him Price is happy. He's He's waiting for you. Oh, okay. I'll get going on that. I told 
Might be able to get on that tonight, who knows. I should make it live for him. Yeah. Next time I go live, Art, I'll make it live for you. You can watch. Um, if I don't do it on here, it'll be on Boro Ballers. So we'll make sure to let you know. Again, guys, remember to like and share. Uh, appreciate it. it, helps me out. Super easy and fast to do. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, fuming across the whole piece so it does uh, do the color changing, which is going to give you blues and whites and yellows and purples for the most part. Maybe into some, ye yeah, some yellows. Um, the cap's going to sport some Elvis red dots, and the rest of it's going to have clear work to it, so when it colors out, the stock is going to have all sorts of like the white to blue streaks and stuff like that kind of make it a little more uh yep yeah Ra uh Raphael, it's a uh, one inch doing five inches of one inch on it and kenny i'm making a mushroom pipe the silver all prepped up here quick So I got a little chunk of silver in one of these little pits on here. It's one of my, it's my marble mold. See a little piece of silver in the bottom of it there. Um, so I'm getting this nice and hot. Then I'm gonna glob over it and uh, basically mount it into the silver. And then I can use that for fuming on the glass, and that gives it color changing properties. You can use gold too, that gives you different colors and it's more expensive. It gives you more like oranges and pinks and greens and into purples. And silver and gold look pretty cool mixed together too, they get some interesting hues.
So they got a molten glob of silver just kind of riding in a crease here. So I got five inches of one inch here. One inch heavy wall tubing. Clean off the kiln dust. We're gonna get some heat on this right away and get it kind of up to temp so when I do my fuming, it'll bond a little better with the surface. Hey babe. Oh, it doesn't, uh, my hand isn't melting because glass doesn't really conduct heat like that, like a piece of steel wood or something. Um, I get pretty close to a thousand degree glass without it burning me. Um, there's pretty much a line you'll find where just the heat stops and it's more of an insulator than a conductor. All right, so with a very light, with a light flame here, very wispy, very soft. I'm gonna warm this silver up. And then it's gonna start spraying little particles across the flame onto the glass. The flame kind of pushes them there. So, once it reaches that temp, it starts going. And I just kind of work it down the glass, take it in and out of the flame to keep it at that temperature. And it sprays like a couple, maybe a micron or two, I'm not quite sure. Nice, real thin layer on the glass. Which at this point, I could take like a scouring pad or like a razor blade or something and scratch a bunch of this off. It's on the surface, but it's not truly bonded yet. Nate, I'm making a mushroom pipe. What up, Adam in the UK? What up, Connie? Didn't see your comment there. So now that after I basted in the silver with this bushy flame, it kind of gives you like a, a yellowish tone, like an amberish yellow. here so I start adding my next glass to it so I'm going to take this clear and put lines going down it about two-thirds two-thirds of the way these lines will uh, go up the stalk and then under the cap to kind of look like fins too Everything I make today will be eventually listed up on our website at boralballers.com. So if you're looking for anything I end up making, it'll be up there uh, near future. We uh, don't want to promise a time I can't keep. So I'm just laying this clear glass over the silver fuming right now and that's going to create some depth and dimension to the glass and color and when it colors out you'll be able to really tell what's going on there. Kind of fill in the whole piece.
All right, there we go. Now we got it striped out. We'll move on to the color. Here we are. Gary, it's hot enough to melt glass. What up, David? Glad you're joining us. Thanks, Corey. Thanks, everyone, for trying to jump in on the answers here. I'm uh, fielding them the best I can. If you haven't already, please like and share. It helps me out. It's real easy to do. It's free. So now I'm going to add these dots here that are going to appear on the cap. I like doing them real big and kind of random. Sometimes I change up the sizes and just kind of do a haphazard just all over. Other times I kind of make a little more symmetrically patterned. Once you get all the color on here, then I'll be able to start doing the shaping and you'll see this thing start taking life. So um Alright, got the blow hose on here. Um this goes around my neck, hooks up here. Then I can uh, blow into it without having to swing it around.
Hi Jennifer. All right, for a little bit here, it's just going to be kind of I mean, melting and shaping, and you'll eventually see it kind of come start coming alive. It's going to take me a few minutes, so.
All right, here, here's where I'm at now. You got most of the shape or almost to where it stands. That's a key component. So getting there. If you're uh, just joining us, um, I'm making a mushroom pipe. A little easier to see at this point. Um, dry piece, silver fuming, clear and light red Elvis as dots in the cap. They're uh, very faint right now, but after it strikes out in the kiln, they'll be really rich, like a real ruby rich red. They're real brilliant and sharp. All right, stands. Now we just gotta make it a functional pipe. We're going to start off by putting a bowl in it. There we go. It's like a good spot. I'm going to mark this spot that I want the bowl hole. With these, it's the positioning of everything on these is pretty critical after you have that split, flat spot there. If you don't squeeze it into the space, you end up ruining it. Create a little hole right here. There we go. This is what's called a bowl press right here. It's this piece of graphite, the rounded end, and this is the shape of my bowl. So what I'm gonna do is heat up all around this hole I made, which is the bowl hole. And I'm gonna use my press to form the glass down in and as it creates the sunk in spot for the bowl. Kinda only get one real shot at this and after that it's just try to save it. All right, well, we don't have to save it. We're good. All right.
be the most stressful part of a piece. It's pushing that bowl. After you do a couple thousand, they're not so bad. There we go. All right. So now we have a bowl. Carb. This is the mushroom. It stands right up. I'm going to cut this top part off right here. We're going to put the mouthpiece there. So I just need to warm this up in the kiln for a few minutes. Kiln sitting at about a thousand degrees. The mouthpiece here that I got to cut was probably almost room temperature. So I needed to get it up there before I start throwing the flame or I could just break it and just ruin everything. Brittany, you gotta buy equipment and find someone to teach you. That's the short and skinny. That's how you learn how to do this. Yeah, Raphael, it totally pays for itself after a couple pieces. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Couple, couple ten thousand dollar pieces, and yeah, Robert, I'm definitely using liquid oxygen. Mike, um, just uh, check out boroughballers.com. Here, I'll bring my flame down here. You got the spelling right here. Boro Ballers, uh, that's our website. Anything I'm making today will be up there next couple days. Um, takes a little bit. Hey, Sherry. Oh, don't worry, Quentin. It'll be out cool in just a couple minutes here. Then I'm going to skip this, whatever this is. You fix that. It's terrible. Closed out of it. Get this prepped here real quick for the next piece. I'm gonna do a little color changing critter pipe where it's just gonna be a basic spoon. I'm gonna build a little octopus off the side of the bowl. Nice way to find a piece of blue caramel for that. Close up the end of this tube here real quick. Bless you, babe. What's that, Jerry, an anchor pendant? No, I haven't. I've never made an anchor pendant. Sounds cool. This uh, octopus is kind of a stretch for this region as well. I'm very, not a very uh, 
aquatic or nautical region, Wisconsin. <laughs> Jennifer has a blessing on it too. Thank you, Jennifer. And and Brenda. And Brenda. Thank you, Christina. Really want an anchor pendant, huh? Let me think about that one. Uh, there's not a whole lot of freestyling here. It's kind of, a, you go in with a plan, so. <coughs> All right. All right, let's get this one up. Let's get this one finished. The dots on the cap are coming out a little bit better, but you'll see it after it after it strikes out. It'll be pretty cool. It's called hot fingers claw grabbers. These things are awesome. As always, guys, if you haven't liked and shared already, please do. It helps me out. It's free. It's quick to do. I appreciate it. And if you've done it already, thank you. Oh, these things always end up so freaking like heavy and bulky. I'm just pulling away glass here by the mouth at the top for the mouthpiece. The fun thing about these, like a lot of glass work, is it's one of a kind. The next one will look a lot like it, but it'll be have its own unique things to it. And there's some products I make that you would be able to pick out of a lineup, like they all look the same. But there's other ones that always come out just super unique. All right, I'm gonna have a minute here to answer any questions once I clean this up here. So if you guys have any questions, pop them up on the screen. Let's see if I can roll through a few of them real quick. Thanks, Jesse. Well, get on it, Quentin. Figure it out, man. There's always some place, some way to figure it out. Some way to do it. Now more than ever, there's so many places that are starting to offer beginner classes and bench space that you're only a Google search away for the most part.
gizmo pipe, not really my forte. Oh. Uh, Keenan, I'm out of Wisconsin. Yeah. Wisconsin. One hit dabs pipe, Willie. I'm not so sure on that. Um, I'm not quite sure what you're looking for there. Let's see. Here we go. This is what it's looking like. It's going in the kiln. Justin, they're fairly quick. It's just a very intense with your hands and your brain all working together for the whole thing. Robert, any glass blowers out of Beaver Dam? I do not have them hit me up. So that no, Devin, I, Devon, I don't smell anything in Oregon. Um, nothing west of the Rockies, really. Uh, Boro Ballers, BoroBallers.com. You can check out and find some of my work. We're adding more on the regular. That's boroughballers.com. I gotta go do mom's stuff. Okay. No, just not really get sunburnt. A little bit. Uh, these new run about 16, roughly. Sorry, guy in Oklahoma, I didn't catch it. Right on Lee. Keenan and H Town. Chris, I do uh, mostly hand pipes. Uh, this is like one of the only things that I do that's a theme shaped, but uh, I should probably get back on it here. Okay, so for my next trick, oh here I'll throw up some few general question, uh, answers to questions. Uh, I've been doing this for a little over 15 years, bought a torch back in 02 as a hobbyist for about 8 years and the rest of the time has uh, been full time, this is what I do. Um, thousand degree glass and room temperature glass they look the same uh, always be careful what you're touching on my station is you don't know if that thing's a thousand degrees or room temp so what I'm doing here is adding a plenty to the end and I'm just gonna cut this tube off to make it almost like a cup like a like a vessel and I'm going to end up dumping what's called frit in there and putting a blow tube on the side. This way I don't have to worry about inhaling crushed glass, which is not a good idea. Other common questions, I work off of a Carlisle CC torch. It runs off of propane and oxygen. Uh, five pounds propane, 25 pounds O2. I run off of a liquid tank and 20 pound propane tanks. Um, the type of glass I work with is called borosilicate. And it's got a very low co-expansion rate where the rate of which it expands and contracts when it heats up and cools is very low in comparison to a lot of other types of glass as far as like your soda lime glass or like generally what your coat bottles and stuff are made out of are like I don't know, probably like 109 or something like that they're pretty uh they're pretty high up there this is the type of glass that they use for like lab equipment and stuff like that it's got a very high pencil strength clarity is Rival and Crystal. And it withstands a lot of abuse for being glass, quite a bit, honestly. So what I need to do here is open this up so I can dump some color into here. So 
of there. Open hole onto a solid rod. So it's like a cup, it's like a flute. So what we're gonna do here, so I got this little bit of frit here. This is crushed glass, crushed color. Just dump some of that in there. Doesn't take much. And then we're gonna throw a blow tube on the other end. Got these prepped so we're good to go. Now, I want to be really careful not to shoot a flame down into with my color because it can change the composition of it and make it look different. So I need to be a little bit careful. Make sure the flame doesn't jump down there. And make sure I don't spill it out for any reason. That's real easy to do because not used to having just free floating things in a tube so when you do it's real easy to forget and there we go So now I just need to melt in this. See that stuff tumble around in there? That's that crushed glass. We're going to melt that in. All speckled around on it. And this is a color called blue caramel that has it's blues, but it also has some fuming properties with some metals. So the inside of this piece will get uh, kind of fumed out a little bit so it'll change color. So right now I need to make sure I'm basing that frit all the way in. Uh, don't want to have it like half melted or anything. So we're just melting that print in, just getting it really, really gathered up and cooked in. And then I'll start shaping this into a hand pipe, and we're going to build a little octopus off the side of the bowl.
halfway there, we got our mouthpiece and our stock. Just gotta finish the bowl, then we start adding stuff. Just joining me, I'm making a little hand pipe, and I'm gonna add a octopus to the piece right around by the bowl. And uh, if you have a moment, please uh, click like and share. Uh, helps me out. It's free. It's easy to do. Only takes a second. If you already have, thank you. And if you're interested in anything you see me make or want to check out other stuff I make, uh, boroballers.com. That's B as in boy, O, R as in Robert, O, ballers.com. All right, Zachary, I'll shout you out. I caught that one. Let's see what else I can catch here. Yeah, Nick, I toast marshmallows with this, actually. I got some over there. I uh, had some Girl Scout cookie s'mores, and so I decided to make s'mores in the shop one night. Funny you should ask. Warmed up pizza in my kiln, like, super quick. It's weird doing it old school like that. I should get my blow hose hooked up to it. So I try making one the old style where how I originally learned. You're not to believe. Okay. Nice little pocket jammer we got going on here. cooling off and I'm going to pop a hole, press a bowl, pop the carb, then we start building the octopus off the side. Fun.
So I'm using my bowl press here if you guys weren't watching earlier. And all it is is uh, a graphite rod through some, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, aluminum tape around the handle here to keep my hand clean and uh, round down the end so it's like a ball or like a bowl. So when I press it in, it forms it. But we got a good press there, nice shaped bowl, happy. We're going to keep going with it. If you're just joining us and making an octopus pipe, it's a pipe with an octopus on it, not not a octopus shaped pipe. It'll take much longer. Um, won't be able to get that done before dinner. Go. Got a nice bowl press on that. Looking good. We're gonna pop the carb out the side. You guys, please don't get upset if I miss your comments or something. I miss all, almost all of them. Um, I'm really focusing on what I'm doing. Sometimes I try to glance and grab something and answer real quick, but prim primarily I have to be focused right here or shit doesn't work out, you know? So I'm doing my best. If you haven't already, please like and share. Helps the guy out. Alright, so we're going to put this octopus head on here. It's going to get a good weld. So he stays on there. Then I'm gonna have to throw this in the kiln for a moment and pull down some red so we can put the tentacles on him. I forgot to do that. So that's a preliminary octopus there. Throw him in there. Back to the color. In the color.
All right, so what I'm doing here is uh, heating up the edge, the tip of the rod, and then keep pulling and moving down and pulling and stretching out a nice long section so I can add tentacles. It's a little tricky, but once you get the rhythm going, you could probably just go forever if your arms had infinite length. Alright, this will be long enough. Starts here, goes to there. Good. Alright, so I got him here. Now I gotta add these on. And the trick is to take up enough space at the same time leaving enough to make sure you can get eight legs on this guy. Is People will call you out in a heartbeat if that thing's only got seven tentacles, I'll tell you. You have enough room. I gotta get this whole base melted together.
There we go. Rough shape. We just got to put some eyeballs on this little guy. Got little googly eyes on them. So he's going in the kiln. You guys haven't had a chance to read it yet. It's backwards, but. Tell me to smoke, Luke. Thanks, Kyle. Yeah, Chad, it's 1994. Oh, this thing, it's generic local shit. I don't even know. It's great flavored. Hides me over between dab hits. Let's see what else to do. Thanks, sculpture. Uh, thanks, Oscar. Any work around? You know what? There isn't. I just got, I just sent a big box to Legacy, or not Legacy, uh, Illusions in Denver. Um, 
I've been really busy filling out their stuff. Made this a while back on live though. It's a little uh, frog on a directional cap. But again, if you're looking for any of my work at all, Boro Ballers on IG or Facebook, follow us there. And BoroBallers.com is up and running. You can see plenty of our work there, and there's more going up almost every day. So check it out. Bookmark it. Keep the tab open. Keep checking. You'll see more stuff. And again, uh, like and share. We'll uh, keep it moving here. Put a score with my little scoring knife here. It's a little notch. You can see that in the glass. A little scratch. I do put them a little deep, but this is what's called a thermal shock. It's when there's a weak point and you apply heat to a specific spot and it'll create cracking. But in this way, I can control where the crack goes and it's just going to take the end right off my tube. So I'm going to try to do this so you guys can see it happen. Oh, I just took off. I didn't even feel it. It happened right away. Then watch. All I have to do... And now I got an open tube. one more of these so this is ready to go then we'll take that mouthpiece off the other one planning on starting a YouTube channel soon so keep an eye out for that through Boro Ballers If you're just joining us, thank you. Uh, I'm going to be finishing up my octopus pipe that's in the kiln here real quick. And then I'll be moving on. I think I'm gonna do a space pipe next. The uh, space theme head to toe. I always need more of those, so I might as well put one together. Um, I'm just doing prep for a future project right here real quick. I had the opportunity, so.
go. Got that one for later. Here's what it looks like. It'll be going up on the website here next day or so, I'm guessing. I got a really busy week here. My sister just had surgery, so I uh, go over to her house a couple times a day, helping her take care of her and stuff while she's healing up. So my time's a little frantic right now. I've just been happy to get some time to blow glass here live. But she's awesome. She's a, she's a killer. Uh, probably gonna do a couple charity auctions here on Boyle Ballers in the near future uh, to help her out with uh, a couple bills. She's been laid up after. Uh, she's just a cancer survivor. She's getting reconstruction done. Whoop cancer's ass. Chemo like a champ. <laughs> I would have. It's, it's, it's really funny who you see who's tough and who isn't when it comes down to it, you know? She blew me away. I would have been crying. Well, Andrea, um, BoroughBallers.com, B-O-R-O -O Ballers. Uh, I got plenty of mine and my wife's glass up there right now, a couple of my friends. Uh, it's going to keep growing, too. So like I said, bookmark it, keep that tab open, whatever you got to do, just keep an eye on it. And there's going to be new stuff on the regular. Oh, it's definitely easy to clean. You got a big enough carb hole, a big enough mouth hole to be able to clean them out. Honestly, you just I run hot water through them, or soak them overnight, and then start running hot water through them, and they pretty much stuff just falls out. Maybe a little alcohol, maybe some Epsom salts to act as an abrasive, but really, it's glass. It's non-porous. It's it'll all come out. Here we go. put that in the kiln should be ready to go tomorrow and I'll get her listed over the next couple days all right guys space pipe land and water planets are my bread and butter so that's what I'm gonna do warm this piece up. I already had it prepped on a piece of blow tube. on here but they have burnt off sharpie markers work really good 
wearing the glass and then you usually can find it and cut them. Okay, sorry about that guys. So, put the stars in the sky, I need a little frit, which is crushed glass. Don't breathe it in. It's really bad for you. So I got ventilation going, so I just kind of keep my torch going when I pour it out. So anything that comes up gets caught in the flame. And I just pour a little bit gently, kind of roll it out into my tray. So people spoon it. I don't dump it so it plumes, I just kind of let it slide out and lay it right in there. It's definitely one of the hazards in the job that you want to... Some people won't even have it in their shop, I use a little bit of it, other people use a ton of it. Um, I only have this color and I use it for very special projects. I used to be one of the people that wouldn't have it in my shop. Just inherently dangerous and I want to do this for a long time so but as long as you take precaution and think about what you're doing you're fine so that's what I use for the stars in the sky Put our planet on here. everybody. So I'm having a hard time reading names. My eyes are a little bugged out from the flame. I just see some hellos and highs. Uh, Kenneth, um, no, I don't take, okay, I kind of take requests. It really depends, man. Um, I'm pretty backed up right now, but if it's something I'm inspired to do, then I'd probably do it, but it's really just got to be something I want to do. I'm going to add a little bit of this behind it. A little bit of clear. Just about ready to get started on the space pipe here, guys. I got everything prepped. Making sure this one's absolutely ready to add on. I always try to take a little extra time with my prep to make sure it's done right because 
when you got things going and there things are in motion, you know, you don't have time to like stop everything, set it aside and fix something. It's gotta be ready to go. A lot of people I think tell me that this looks easy and looks fun. I mean it is fun, but um there's constant heat calculations and shit going on in my head on what needs to be heat where and what's going on with what. I don't have to be a genius to do it, but it definitely uh, takes a lot of concentration and both your hands working together full time. So, I mean, people ask me if it's hard to do. I mean, it's not rocket science, but it's definitely harder than tying your shoe, you know? Fall somewhere in the middle there. There's a lot of muscle memory. And every day is kind of like science class and art class. A little bit of chemistry involved, but... So what I'm doing now is heating up this piece of black tubing. It's about three inches of 32 millimeter tubing. I like to get them really good and warm because it feels like when I add my silver after that, it bonds better. And that's pretty crucial for this product of getting that silver to bond well. And uh, this, this uncopyrighted music is terrible, but it's all I can find to listen to. So uh, I can't play anything copyrighted. Coke sniff pipe, <laughs> right on. So what I'm doing here is using the flame to heat up a little chunk of silver and it, the characteristic of the flame also pushes it onto the glass. And I'm just laying on really thick layers because when I base them in, you can see the difference there. Check that out. So now when I base that in, because right now I could hit it with a scouring pad and probably take it pretty much off, you know. So now I'm going to use a nice bushy soft flame to kind of heat up all the glass and make it bond with that silver without burning the silver off of it. Okay. All right, so now we're there.
So now we're gonna heat up this whole thing. We're gonna roll it in this little tray here I have, a crushed glass, that's gonna put the stars in the sky. Feel me? I'm gonna go one more round. There we go. It's not gonna start melting it in and shaping it at the same time. All right. Well, Rodney, uh, when I'm done, they'll get, actually there's some listed right now, right up on Boral Ballers, on uh, BoralBallers.com. So you can go there and get one of these right now and it'll be boxed up and shipped out to you. Each one's unique, they all come out different, man. Little corner of space. So right now I'm heating up and gathering for the bowl so I can puff that ball out and shape the bowl. Please make sure you're following Boral Ballers on Facebook and Instagram if you're on there too. We're pretty active on Instagram. Uh, Boralballers.com is the website. And uh, please like and share. Uh, it's free. It's really easy to do. It helps me out. So if you like what you're watching, tell everybody about it. And if you already have, thank you. I appreciate it.
Okay, our website right here, boroballers.com. B as in boy, R O, R as in Robert, O, ballers. It stands for borosilicate, which is the type of glass I work with. The end of this turned out dope. It was a good one. I like this one. What I'm doing now is heating up around the hole I made. I'm going to use my bowl press, which is a piece of graphite that I shaped down to be a mold for the bowl. And I heat up all around that and I press it in. You got to make sure your heat's even, your bolt, your press is straight, because you, once you fuck it up, you're just trying to save it after that. There we go. I always double check to make sure that hole's nice and round. What's going on for dinner? I brought you an appetizer. Oh yeah? <laughs> oh, you smell like bacon. Uh-huh. Oh my god. Yeah, you want a piece of bacon? Bet I want a piece of bacon. Bacon. These are my bonuses at work. Mm -hmm. If I do a good job, I get this. Sure, I'm gonna finish this pipe and see what I'm doing. Okay. Get me the. Oh, I love bacon. Yeah, that's good. That's very good. Oh, I'm at dinner. <laughs> well, I gotta go figure out what Eric wants to get picked up. I okay. Know. Alright, here's how we're looking now. We just need to add a planet. Yep, bacon, bacon, bacon. Thanks, everyone. Sorry if I don't uh, address you guys individually. I do see a lot of kind words fly by that I'd like to be able to individually address each one of you and say thank you. Um, but most of you guys want to watch glass blowing instead of me talking to a screen. So uh, 
I do see some kind words fly by. I'd appreciate all of them. Thank you guys very much. And I try to steal away and just answer one or give someone a shout out here and there. Best I can. We're adding the planet on here. Oh, I keep wanting, I want to blow glass, but damn it, I want to go have a BLT. So I'm just welding this planet on here. It's got to go in circles and work all the way around it. But we want to make sure it's on there. It doesn't get chipped off or anything, you know? It's got to be one with the piece. So here we are. All we have to do is warm it up and cut the mouthpiece, and we'll be in business. But... I'll just show you guys what I got going on here. We're going to flip the camera around once this cools off. I'll give you guys a better view. The other side of the camera is a lot better detailed. But I just need this to cool off so you can actually see it. A second. Oh, there we are. As it cools off, the green will get a little more green. It's a little dark yet from the heat, but. That's how we do. For you guys that are known, Boral Ballers, boralballers.com. We have Facebook and IG as well. Please give us a follow. If you haven't liked and shared this post yet, please do. Uh, try to do one more little thing here before I just break down and go eat food because famished, famished. Oh, I can't stop thinking about it. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna end up cutting this mouthpiece and calling it, guys. But I do appreciate it all. Yeah, Shelly, I do want to pack it up right now. I'm so hungry. Well, Steven, you can hit us up on our social media. And uh, my wife handles the Facebook and Instagram. Um, if you want that exact one, you can try. Uh, let her know that you want the one that I made tonight. And if you're the first message we deal with, you'll, you'll get it. When we'll be back on again, I'm not sure. Uh, hopefully in the near future, if you don't find me on here, I will be going live on Boral Ballers as well. So if you're not seeing me here, follow Boral Ballers during your notifications. We'll, uh, we'll let you know. I'll be going live on there probably more frequently. I know next week they're all booked on World of Bongs, so I won't be on here next week. So if I get on this week again, you'll see me. Otherwise, I'll be on Boral Ballers.
Yeah, please check out my stuff, Joshua. Um, and like I said, we're going to be adding more and more stuff to the website. So keep an eye on it. We're always going to be growing our inventory now. Oh, one of my friends makes bacon themed pieces. Uh, Glass Happy on Instagram. But everybody who's followed Bowl Ballers and on Instagram and Facebook, thank you very much. Um, we'll make sure to get advertised when I'll be going live again. Uh, we do auctions and stuff too. We're gonna have some charity auctions for my sister coming up who's recovering from breast cancer. Um, She's going through reconstruction surgery right now. Um, so we're going to be having some charity auctions. We always have giveaways. Uh, yeah, get involved. I'm going to cut this mouthpiece, though. Hey, Art, are you still on here, dude? Art piece, you still on here, dude? Right on, man. Uh, are you on Instagram? Art? All right, uh, I want you to follow my personal account on there. It's a bastardized glass. It's B-A-S-T-A-R-D. I Z E D glass bastardized. Follow me on there. I'll get at you when I want to do that custom, and I'll just go live where I can for you, and we'll do that. It's bastardized glass on Instagram. B A S T A R D I Z E D glass. I don't know if anybody still on here is in the Denver area, but I'll be out there. Uh, just after 4.20, I'll be coming out to Denver on a sales run. You know what, Alex? I'll roast the marshmallow. I can do that yet. I wouldn't mind a roasted marshmallow. I got some right over here. There we go. It's in the kiln. I'm gonna cook this one off quick.
Now it's going to take a little while to cool down before I can even get a marshmallow near that thing, man. So we're going to clean this one up real quick in the flame. Now warming them up slightly does help because then it starts toasting it from the inside. Marshmallow. Ooh, ooh. A little hot yet. Here we go. And I make it ride right above the flame. I don't want to put it in it. It'll just, like, just burn right up. It's tough to find that heat spot that'll toast it, but not burn it. Usually I get them a little more brown, a little less black, but they coast out real good. So I got a Girl Scout s'mores cookie. We're just gonna dump that right on top. And I pop the rest of that marshmallow on there. doesn't want to stay. There we go. Put another one over the top. Chop some more. Ronnie, you can go on my uh, website, boroughballers.com. It's just starting to get them listed. We'll be getting more and more up there soon. Thank you, Brenda. Oh. Yeah, that was uh, quite intense. That's a lot of sugar. Those usually save me late night working on something, roast a marshmallow, maybe have a cookie, get a little more work out of me before I pass out. Oh, what this is, oh, this is, this is a pretty standard setup. This is a pretty industry common torch. 
Well, a lot of people work in their garage. Jordan, uh, I don't really do a whole lot of customs. I really got to be like geared up to do it. It's got to be something I want to make. Thanks, Art. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for all the kind words, guys. Thanks for watching. Like I said, Boro Ballers, uh, if you don't see me on here, I'm going to be doing a lot more stuff on there. Um, also, boroballers.com and our Instagram as well is pretty active. Um, appreciate all the kind words and you guys watching. Um, Till next time, uh, see you then. But uh, have a good night, guys. Take care.